from exotic cars to extravagant fashion. The rich and famous give Los Angeles a reputation of opulent prosperity. But just around the corner from this glamour is the Los Angeles of utter despair. Here on Skid Row, the homeless live in third world conditions and things they say are only getting worse. They feel there's no hope for them. They're afraid of the police. L.A. remains the homeless capital of the U.S., with more than 51,000 people living in shelters, cars, or in homeless encampments like these. Staying in the shelter, you know, uh, getting bit every day, um, having scars and scratching and whatnot, it's, it's really bad. I, I would just rather be in the street. <laughs> While Mary and her neighbors sleep on tattered blankets, just a short drive away, are some of the wealthiest neighborhoods in America. In this city of extremes, the celebrities and the super rich enjoy pampered living in palatial hillside mansions. Homes like this help give Los Angeles an image of glitz and glamour. Behind these fences lies a multi-million dollar home, complete with a swimming pool and even a suite for a maid. The wealthiest rest safely behind their elegant walls, while some of the city's poorest face another long night next to a warehouse wall. A lavish mansion costing more than $50 million in Beverly Hills is unthinkable for most people in a city where one in five children live in poverty. And at the time, it was 2 o'clock in the morning, and my kids and us were sleeping on a bus stop, and I, that was the first time we ever had to sleep on a bus stop. After the real estate crash, Antoine Hutzpeth lost his job as a mortgage loan officer and became disabled. Now he struggles to feed his wife and their three sets of twins. I don't want to see him sleeping on the streets. I can't have that. While they wait in line for a sandwich, L.A.'s wealthy dine in pricey gourmet restaurants and inside the massive dining rooms of their sprawling estates. The startling gap between the haves and the have-nots is seen in the growing number of families who cannot afford food and housing. We've had families that have stayed with us over two years. And yes, that's sad, but we're still trying to do our best to make sure that we get them the best that we can give them and definitely connect them with the resources. As financial austerity looms, those resources are shrinking. It will be those in line for the soup kitchens, not grass-fed beef and organic arugula, who will feel the pinch of California's belt tightening. In this economic crisis, L.A.'s rich flaunt their high-end lifestyle, while more families fall into poverty, making it likely the city will remain a place of fame and fortune, but also of great financial anguish. In Los Angeles, Ramon Galindo, RT.